Hello, everybody. It's time for the podcast. Hello. I was oh, thinking. No. Hello. I think it would be fun if we did like a contest to see if people could come up with a podcast name for us. I Very was, cool. I was just, I was like. I know we get, we're talking and then, about like, And then like if we pick one, we could give them like a Steam gift card or something split between us. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be cool. I know I was thinking about, because I know we had mentioned about talking about it on uh one of the podcasts here soon and i was sitting there and i'm thinking i'm like i'm not gonna be able to come up with very much like i like uh, my my brain is very basic when it comes to names and i'm like you're gonna be the creative like artsy one and and you have the anime things and you can pronounce the words and i'm like she'll probably be, like, she'll come up with things and i'll have i i'll have input right right Oh, that'd be cool though. I would, yeah, I think we should yeah, do that. That would be it. fun, and we can like uh, put it on like our our socials and stuff. Be like name yeah. our podcast, and if we pick yours, you'll get like a I don't know, like a twenty five dollar Steam gift card. That'd be cool. I like that. Yeah. I like that idea. Anyway, guys, hello. It's episode. So is it seven. Seven. Eight? I titled it wrong. <laughs> well, I gotta fix it. This is seven. It, it, yeah, it was seven or eight. I know it was somewhere around there. It's seven. It's seven because I just remembered that I, I uploaded six over to the YouTube and and now it's uh now we're on seven. All right, I'm getting some like fan noise out of your mic again. Just so you're. Oh. Bad. There we go. That's better. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Cool, cool. <clears throat> Hello, guys. It's Wednesday. Dupree and I are back. I know we're here two weeks in a row because last week was makeup because I was gone. But we're back. We're going to talk about a lot of games today. But first, we're going to start out with the animes that we've been watching Aharen Sun and Spy Family. I believe we're both caught up. I am the Spy X Family. I'm always one episode behind because I watched that one. I'm before. actually where you're at because I decided to watch the dub this past, oh, really? this past week when I was, okay. yeah, I was like, <laughs> I'm going to try the dub, which actually starting the conversation out, I actually am really enjoying the dub. I was like, oh, this, this yeah. is pretty good. I, I like it a lot. I tend to watch that one when I'm working and I can kind of like look back and forth or like, um, Last night I watched two episodes while I was streaming. Well, you were streaming. <laughs> it was so funny. You're like, I just finished the show. And I'm like, what do you mean? You're streaming. <laughs> yep. Fine. The wonders of my phone. And then I watch um, the Iron Sun one when I'm doing my cardio at the gym. Oh, Because um, it gives me something to keep my eyes off of the timer and just counting down seconds to the end of my workout. Right. So. You're like, freaking cardio. Um, <laughs> so I, I use that one because then I have to concentrate on the subtitles and everything so it makes the time and it's perfect time too because like i'll start my cardio get going and then i'll get the episode up and running and by the time like the intro music goes and the outro music and the episode i have like maybe two minutes left and i'm like all right about done (laughs) it's good time um but yeah so aharen san um kind of took um a turn I was wondering if it was gonna take, uh, with the you know Aharen admitting I was that she hoping has it feelings. Would. I yeah. know. I was like, oh, it was in oh. episode one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, come on, they need to do something. This can't just, this just cannot be they like a brother sister blue thing. They can't just stay awkward friends forever. They yeah, need to be I an mean, awkward couple. Yep. Yeah, I was like, it's gotta move forward. But then, like when they kissed or whatever like he backed away and she panicked but like that wasn't i didn't really think that was like a bad back away no i think it was more like... of a surprise not definitely not. i don't i definitely don't feel like it was a bad thing no yeah like he you know he feels like he's got to feel the same and then right. she like panicked and ran away and it's like no go back <laughs> You so, must think it. <laughs> you know when the wind blows and we don't hear what either of them say? I was yeah. um, reading in the comments, actually. I I don't know. I do that a lot, actually, when I get 
when I finish an episode, I'll actually go read the comments just to kind of see what everyone else is thinking. Um, and someone was mentioning that in the manga, um, you actually get to see what they're saying there. And it, it is a confession on both sides, but they can't hear each other. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, so, so he, well, that's, that's he does cool. feel the same, but we didn't. See, that, would be, <laughs> that would be a cool, like, thing about reading the manga, because, like, in the show, you just, we don't hear anything, so it's like, you think that they're just trying to keep it secret, and in reality, they might just be following the manga to where it's like, they don't know what they said, so you don't get yeah, to know why. Yeah, so you're kind of like, you don't get to know either, and you're like, no! In fact, I have a really good example of that. Um, so one of my favorite manga that never finished, Bless It's Soul, it's been on eternal hiatus for like 20 years now. But anyway, um, X1999, in the anime, there's a scene where a character is dying and he goes to say something to the guy that he was fighting. You see his mouth moving and you see the character react like he heard it, but we don't get to know what he said there. So when the manga was coming out, I was like, okay, maybe I get to know. Maybe I get to see what he said. No. I still didn't get to see what he said. And I was no. like, <laughs> And you now, like, and they it never. Haunts it haunts me. It literally haunts me. So oh, I just yeah. make That's up like... what he said there. I'm like, this is what he said. That's, yeah, that's you gotta like, you gotta fill it in. So that's like my worst me. nightmare. <laughs> getting into something that's not done yet, and if something like a cliffhanger like that happens, like, oh, uh, it's brutal. Well, see, There's it's, certain it's things. It's so crazy. When in because this particular one, not only was it not well, so like X by Clamp, which is one of my favorite stories ever. But so you have the movie, which is like an hour and a half. And it's a super condensed version of the story, and it's really different because the manga wasn't done. Um, and like half the characters you never learn the name of, and like so many people die because that's just the style of anime it is. And I was like, okay, this is cool. And then they did a TV series, and I was like, oh, okay, cool, I get a more detailed version of the story. And then they started putting out the manga in the United States, and I was like, cool, they got to volume 18. And it's been on hiatus since, like, 2003 or something like that. <laughs> and not canceled, though. Not canceled. Hiatus. I'm like, you're a bunch of liars. Take it off of hiatus and call it canceled. Don't right. don't keep like, my hopes point, up like this. <laughs> like, at this point, it's just done. Pass it on to someone else. Let them write it. Just give me the ending. <laughs> I just need something. You should it's just, terrible. you should make that like a uh, once a week stream where you draw a page and write the story per page and make your own make volume my own to ending. It out <laughs> and end it. And then you can put that in with the collection of books and you're like, all right, I'm, like, I got uh, it. I, can, I, I have closing. the only complete collection. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, oh, I just wrote my own end. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, I will, I will, however, uh, say that that would be an anime that I would recommend putting on your long list of anime I keep giving you to watch is it's just called X um, I don't know where you can yeah. watch it right now. I'll have to I'll have to do some research, but is it's it, super it good. Doesn't have an ending? Well, the anime does because they made oh. they made up an yeah. ending for the anime and it's still really good It's really uh, It's really dark and serious and like a bunch of people die, but it's really good <laughs> So don't get attached to anybody. <laughs> yeah, but good luck. Good luck not getting attached to anybody. <laughs> I'm gonna be very angry every episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's super good though. But yeah, um, circling back though, Aharen, I'm really excited with where it's going. Um, I'm pretty sure this is only gonna be a 12 episode series. Like I don't think. I mean, no, I will so? be oh. I will be pleasantly surprised if we get another season. Or if it ends up being a full season. Um, but I feel like where it's going at this point, it's probably going to end with like 12 episodes. Well, so we got, what, Friday episode 12 will come out, 11 for me. Or no, that one. Um, that's for that Spy one's Family. The, the, um, yeah, that's Spy Family. So 
What episode are we on for? For Aharon? Let me check. Throne. Is that Let like? Me. I want to say it's something similar. It's really close. Yeah, they're like an episode apart or something. Uh, we just had episode ten, so, so I'm, so maybe I'm two more. suspecting two more episodes, maybe three, because sometimes maybe. they'll do thirteen. Um, but like I said, I could be I pleasantly I surprised. Get. I could be pleasantly surprised, and they give us either a full season or a second season. So it kills me how they they make all of her sisters look just like her, just younger and older. Except the younger one Except is like the younger ones. Uh, well, no, they're, well, no, they're both. Both her siblings are younger, and one of them's are, not okay. even a girl. One of them's a little boy. He's just girly. Wait, oh, so is the oh, so the shorter one the shorter that looks like her twin is a boy? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you miss that part? I, I think oh, I must have not really picked up on that that hint or yeah. whatever what they were saying. That's yeah, funny. Yeah, because he's like, why do you dress? Like? He's like, I don't know. I just like to dress in my sister's clothes sometimes because they're cute. And you're like, okay, oh. okay. <laughs> You're just a cute little boy. All right. No, He's in like the good, fourth but... grade or something. <laughs> but... Man, makes me want to go back and rewatch when that when he came in then. <laughs> right? And that was so, that episode was so wild because it's like all of a sudden, and it was so funny because Raido was like, something is wrong because she's never shown this a much, this like even a fraction of this much emotion ever. <laughs> like yeah, never. what is happening? And then found out it wasn't even her. Yeah. And the the other one is super big yet younger. Yeah, it's like, she's still like, like he could be her mom. But yeah, yeah. And I thought she was gonna be like an older sibling or a mom. But yeah. No, no, she's a younger sibling, which is fine. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was pretty cool and kind of cute wow. when um, he came to the house with like all the groceries and he still like ratted her out and like actually she got all this stuff, not me. Right. <laughs> It was a good episode, though. I was excited when they were, like, gonna, when she was like, I want to tell them, like, yes, do it. Right? It's like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really excited um, to see where the last few episodes uh, take us. And maybe we'll be lucky and it won't be the last few episodes. But, you know, we'll yeah, maybe it'll keep going. I would, like, I would like a second season of them actually being together. Like, that would be nice. Like, together, together. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what we get. They should do a season where they're together and they get out of high school and then do a third season where they have kids. <laughs> <laughs> they would have the cutest kids. <laughs> oh man. And then Spy Family, like I said, I'm an episode behind like you are now because I was watching the dub. <laughs> uh, yeah, the dub is, I haven't, I have liked the dub. The dub has been really nice. Yeah. It kind of gives me a good mix between like reading subtitles on one and then just being able to relax with the other i think the the most recent episode with the brother was hilarious though yes i was just about to mention so i really like him so far he's just as wild and like weird you know everyone in the show is just slightly off off quirky yeah they're all hiding something yeah and i really yeah i really like him so far aesthetically i really like him i have a i have a thing about uniforms and like i don't know he's just gonna look that i like a lot <laughs> that was funny he's like i don't believe you you, you get to kiss now i know and they're like and then uh... the episode ended right as they were leaning in and i was like do they kiss? Are they gonna dramatic, kiss? Oh, dramatic. Dramatic. You gotta wait. You gotta wait till Saturday. God. <laughs> it's like, why couldn't this be a week where I was behind an episode? Like, why couldn't I have been behind next week <laughs> <laughs> to where I could have two episodes and have the answer? Um, but yeah, I really like uh, Yuri so far. I've been excited to meet him. In fact, I saw him on the cover of one of the manga while I was at the store the other day. I was like, who is this guy? And then when I caught up, I was like, oh, that's the brother. I'm hoping that like at some point before the end of this season that it comes out that she can read people's minds and like that he's a spy, she's an assassin. Like, I'm hoping they all find out or something. Right. Or... I feel like something's going to happen there. Right? Yeah. But... Like... By the end, like somebody's got to find out something. One one of them has to slip, and hopefully, when one does, they all just kind of like crumble and maybe make a real fit. Like maybe they actually stick with the marriage and start liking each other. 
and stop treating it as just a mission. Well, with how far the manga's gone so far, which I haven't started reading yet, I keep thinking about just reading what's out like episode-wise so I can kind of read along because I don't want to get ahead since I am watching the anime. Because um, the anime's on uh, the Shonen Jump site, so I could, I could read it there. But the manga is far enough that I, I feel like this is going to go pretty far and I have really high hopes and feel like that this has got to turn into something more than just a mission. Yeah, like he, I'm hoping he already it does. kind of like there was that line towards the end of was it the was it the most recent or the he was like he's like I wonder what it's like to have a real family like I wonder like that would be nice. I'm like, it would be nice. You already have these people. Just make them your family. Right. It's fine. Like, <laughs> all you need to do is convince her to be your real wife and not a fake wife. And the girl, she's already like, she's she, all in. Anya's well, yeah, all once in. Once the mission is done, like, you're not gonna be able to return that little girl. She's gonna be <laughs> devastated. Right? She's not a piece of merchandise. So you're like, well, no. I'm done. I'm just gonna return her at customer service. <laughs> <laughs> But speaking of Anya, I I think it's really funny that the like rival boy is like he's like I'm so angry. Wait, what is this? Wait, what is this feeling? He's like has <laughs> having his first crush moment. His first crush, the first girl to ever punch him in the face. <laughs> I know it's so funny. Like you're supposed to make friends with him, not beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I really, I really enjoy the most, like, all of the cast. All the characters have been really, really fun. Um, I like I, all of them for very different reasons. Yeah, um, I didn't like the one guy in the school who was trying to get them, like, kicked out. And oh, was being well, I mean, yeah, he no, was, you're not supposed to like I, him, but I feel I like everyone we're to supposed to out. like, I have liked. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted like, more to happen. I was hoping he was going to actually punch him and not the stupid desk. Yeah, punch a fly. But <laughs> like, he, no. had to, he had to keep himself under control. But Why couldn't the, the girl assassinate him? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Take she probably out. could later. <laughs> Solve the problem. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I know. But, like, I love Yor. I think she's adorable. And Twilight's so cool. And Anya's just such a riot <laughs> she's so funny <laughs> and like i said i like the i like the brother so far i am really upset that he's like on the opposite side but i'm sure there's something that's gonna work out there yeah something he's he's just like protecting his sister and all that i also like the the guy who runs the school the main guy the main professor the one that's like so uh -oh. elegant <laughs> yeah yeah he's <laughs> fun and he he reminded me of um, in Aronson, the girl who's like, too much esteem. I can't handle it. <laughs> I love it. Every time she comes in, I'm dying. Like, she's bleeding. She can't handle it. She's just jealous. Like, I know oh, that, I that teacher. She's, that. she's so weird, but like, <laughs> she's so funny. And you're yeah. like, you're like, what is wrong with you? Like, like I can't real. handle it. I regard esteem. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, she's funny. And we got a, we got a lot of her in one of the recent in the last episodes. Couple. Yeah, yeah, like a ton. We got a little bit her her a few episodes like as an intro, I guess. And then we just got oh, like half an episode of her and then she was in a bunch of this other one. So, yeah, we're getting a lot more of her. But it's really funny. She's 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 a hoot. <laughs> I laugh yeah. a lot. Like it's nice to actually like laugh out loud at a show and i probably actually laugh out loud at every episode of that <laughs> <laughs> like it's so fun but even spy family I, I laugh out loud at spy family all the time too especially um lloyd or twilight he's got some really funny reactions like especially when he's like spying on anya at school <laughs> Just like, yeah. like, I, I like laugh a lot of times when um when like you like you when he does that and then when she's reading their minds and stuff especially <laughs> in the early episodes it's like oh daddy's a big liar yeah. mommy's a liar too <laughs> yeah. and she's like 
And like whenever she overhears your talking about like killing people or like not getting blood on her clothes, and she's just like, Ugh. oh my god, it's like, this is so cool. It's like so cool, but don't kill me. You're right. She gets so excited. Yeah, I probably I laugh a lot at her internal thoughts when she's reading people's minds. It's yeah, so it's funny. pretty hilarious. I would love to see like the first episode, maybe two, three episodes, depending on how far they carry it, of them finding out that she can read their minds and then them like stumbling in their thoughts, trying to not let her read certain things. Yeah, like how do you, like how do you control that? Like when you, like is there a way to block it when you know or? Like your own internal monologue. If you want to watch, if you haven't already watched it, there's a movie that's similar to that. It's uh, Chaos Walking with Tom Holland. Oh, well, I've um, heard of it, but I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, all the guys can hear each other's thoughts oh, and weird. everything. So, like, and then there's no women anywhere because the men can't hear the women's thoughts. And there's like this whole thing about why the women aren't there, but then also like why they're there on that planet and them hearing each other's thoughts and it was a really interesting movie super intense um pretty pretty good though chaos walking i like tom holland he's a good actor that's why i watched it because <laughs> i saw I, it just happened to pop up one day and i saw he was in it and i was like oh that's probably gonna that'd probably be pretty good and then just the concept of the men can hear each other's thoughts but yeah. you can't hear women's thoughts. I was like, okay, there's there's something there. Right, like, what's going on there? <laughs> yeah. um, cool. Well, I could talk about these two silly anime all night, but I'm going to segue us over to video games because there's actually a lot since we last talked because last Thursday was the state of play, and we've had a couple other things besides the state of play that have happened uh, just in the last week. Um, and then tomorrow is Summer Games Fest, uh, is the beginning of that, which I'm actually going to stream here on my channel, because it starts about the same time that I would stream. It starts at noon, um, mountain time. So I'm going to stream the, like, first major, um, showcase, because it's all weekend, like, into Monday. So, but I'm just going to do the first showcase. Um, is each showcase something different? Um, so some of them. So you have this showcase is going to be like a whole bunch of different developers. Um, and then there's some developer focused showcases like uh, Devolver Digital has a showcase this weekend. And like Microsoft has one and like Capcom has its own on like Monday. I'm so upset that Capcom's is on Monday. It's like Monday at three o'clock. I was like... <laughs> Really, Capcom? I'm that's I'm working. <laughs> Come on. Just throw that's a headphone fine. in. And I'll watch, watch it later. Phone. But I mean, honestly, Capcom already gave me some really good news um, at um, during State of Play. So I'm I'm gonna be really surprised if they announce anything more exciting. Cause you know they started State of Play started with a bang this past Thursday with the reveal trailer for Happy 20 um, Months Resident Evil 4 Remake which I'm really excited about. I have said this before and I'll live to it where I didn't feel like that game needed um, a remake but I'm excited that it's getting one and I will play right. the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 4 is the last one that I really played I remember trying six and I didn't like it. Um, and then before four was all the old ones, like one, two, three, and 64 and stuff. And those are really good. Four was amazing though. I liked four a lot. So for them to do the remake will be really cool because I haven't played it since it came out. Oh, not and I only me. Played it I once. can't claim. I can't claim that. Resident Evil 4 is probably my most finished game ever. Like, I've probably played that game through more times than anything else. Um, but it was also... So it was the first Resident Evil that I was able to finish because it didn't have tank controls. Thank heavens. I hate tank controls. That's why I was never able to beat the earlier ones. I had to wait for them to do... Uh, like, when they did the Resident Evil 1 remake on GameCube, that's when I was finally able to play that one. 
because they got rid of I think they have the classic tank controls in there if you want them but they they're not the default controls and I was like thank you but yeah four was the first one I was ever able to beat so that's why I have like I have like a companionship relationship with four I'm like yes uh five I, is the best. five was um, it's a fun co-op game but I I didn't love it but that's because none of my favorite characters are in five like none of them <laughs> i don't love chris and sheva was a new character only for five and then we only got a little bit of jill at the end and that's really all i cared about so it's a fun co-op game though i played it with taro a couple two or three octobers ago and uh six is a fun co-op game i like about half of six as a single game like i like half of it i hate half of it as well though <laughs> it's got my it's really fun to play mercenaries though i really like the mercenary modes on six it's a fun casual like i just want to kill zombies for like 20 minutes then i'll just go play mercenaries for a bit but um but yeah so resident evil 4 remake looks awesome guys if you are in any way shape or form interested in that go watch the trailer it looks like it's not going to uh disappoint no it looks really good it's also coming out uh march 24th of next year so we don't have to wait too long for it just under a year so i'm pretty That's stoked for that hold on my pen my pen has decided it's not... No! Please! I just... There we go. Okay, cool. Um, also in the Resident Evil vein, Village is getting a VR mode. Um, for those of you who play PlayStation VR. I do not. VR gives me a crazy headache. <laughs> I've still yet to never try any VR or anything. I only had the chance to try it because the library that I used to work at, we got a couple of quests. Um, and because I was the like technology person, I was in charge of learning how to use them in case patrons needed help on, on using them. And that's how I discovered that um, they give me a headache very, very quickly. <laughs> very quickly, yeah, man. <laughs> I was That's like, sucks. this is unfortunate, because it's really cool, and there was actually a really cool Star Wars game that we had on there, um, but I just, it was I can't not imagine, worth it. Like, with how the Unreal Engine 5 is going and how realistic some stuff looks on there, mm -hmm. once you get that into VR and making it that realistic, like, well, I, at that point, I'll probably start investing in some VR equipment for stuff, because that just, <laughs> like... That'll be too too much. Everything prior to that, like it's all it all looks very beginner alpha testing basic, and I'm just like, no, I don't need I don't need to go back to the 90s. I'm good. There's a couple things on the quest that I when I was testing it out that were pretty pretty okay. Like the Star Wars game I'm talking about looked pretty good. Um, obviously you have games that where it doesn't really matter how real it looks, like Beat Saber. Beat Saber, you're in a big black box with a bunch yeah, of glowy Beat stuff, Saber. so that doesn't really matter. Um. I hear that's a good workout. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so for those of you who do PlayStation VR, uh, Village is coming out with a VR version. Which actually, that game lends itself really well to VR because it's already first person. Um, and Village was such a great game. So if I were going, if I played VR, I would pick this up in VR, even though I already own it. But uh, they don't have a date for that yet. That's just in development. So no date for that, guys, yet. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Final Fantasy 16! I was actually really surprised that we got a new trailer for that for You're the state right. of play because I thought for sure they would have saved that for tomorrow's presentation at Game Fest. I was like, that's one of their. So, that being said, I'm really hoping for some some Seven. remake some remake yeah. news this weekend i'm hoping since they did since they split it if they have 16 almost ready for next year then 
Maybe we'll get seven next year too. Yeah. Hopefully sooner than 16. What are your thoughts on 16 so far now that we've had a couple different trailers? I've only seen one trailer, which was the most recent one. Oh, you, oh <laughs> um, okay. I pretty much stayed, like, I knew it was coming out, but I pretty much stayed away from, like, all the spoilers and anything like that. So I saw the most recent one. Um, it looks really good. I'm really excited yeah, to, to play it because I really liked 15. Um, on, I played that. I haven't played it in a long time, but I love the battle system. I love that you could fly the car. And I, I think I'm partially biased to loving it too because they came out with a movie along with it, oh and I absolutely gosh. loved the movie. The, the movie so was good. so good. Like I was a little bummed that the people from the movie you don't really play in the thing because the dude like dies, and I'm like, come on, you couldn't yeah. say it. No. no, but that I was still the deal. that was the deal. I love the setup for it, and then building into that, and it was fantastic, and everything and then all the side content the side missions and the fighting yeah. it was really good so seeing 16 kind of reminded me of that um and i like it just i'm super excited for it plus <coughs> having my kid be excited for it that kind of um that like adds to my excitement because then i have somebody to be like excited with about it and he's like oh my god it's like when does it come out again <laughs> <laughs> next summer so uh, he, he's been playing 15 recently um because i it was originally on the Xbox, um, and I saw it when I was messing around with my PlayStation. I saw that with the PS Plus, you can get it for free on nice. the PS5. So I was like, oh crap, I could just download it and then do it that way. So I downloaded it, and he's been playing it. We really started on the PlayStation, and he's been pretty excited about that. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I'm hyped. I think, uh, yeah, I think it looks awesome. I'm excited to go back into like a high fantasy setting just because we haven't done that for a while with 15 being in a more modern setting. And then, of course, we've been playing 7 Remake, which is uh, more of a modern setting compared to some previous Final Fantasies. So I'm excited yeah. to touch back into that high fantasy feel. I think the summons look really cool. That's and super. like they're such a big part of the story because, you know, they're talking uh, like it, it's looking like you know the the summons are basically people who become these summons, but and they uh, have the originals too, or yeah. at least original for me yeah. from seven. Yeah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, everyone really, looks like really that. cool. I'm really excited. They look super good. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait for that. I mean, obviously, if seven comes out, I'm choosing that over sixteen. But <laughs> I'll still be hyped I'm for sure 16 if it comes out seven. before if it comes out before sixteen, you will probably already have devoured it. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping that they don't try and release them close together because I, will be, I don't. I don't feel like I don't feel like they'd be that. I need at least like two months between. <laughs> right, you need to really, really let seven remake sink in before you can sink your teeth into when 16. seven came out the first time i sunk a good hundred hours into that before i even remotely considered switching to another game yeah. so when it comes out, it's like i'm gonna need time to play one i gotta play integrate and then i need to get into part two so i'm gonna need like probably a good 150 hours before <laughs> like i'm ready to do anything else right <laughs> no i get that oh man um, cute little game I'm excited about, uh, which I remember being announced, I think it was E3 last year, uh, Stray, it's where you're the, you play the kitty cat. I don't know a lot about it, like, I don't really care to know a lot about it, I just know it looks cute and fun, and I'm gonna I play it. Play <laughs> I know, I'm like, and I get to play as a kitty with a backpack in, like, a little, like, kind of cyberpunky, looks like Japanese setting, so, uh, that comes out July 19th, guys, if you haven't watched the trailer for that. You should. It looks really cute. It's going to be available on PS4, PS5, and I think PC? I don't remember. But... <clears throat> Let's see. Ooh. Callisto Protocol. <laughs> looks super scary. And I'm trying to decide whether or not I'm going to be brave enough to play it. <laughs> you, you'll probably get a lot of good clips out of that one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I was looking at... It looks like a... It's got a very, like, Dead Space vibe to it, but the monsters are even, like, more gross than <laughs> Dead Space. I was like, ooh, 
Ooh, these, guys are, about these guys are nasty. They're nasty and scary. I don't, I don't know how I feel, but it looks really cool. You um, could turn all your lights off, just have like a little bit backlight behind your computer and just play it in the dark. Uh, no, 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 no. I play things in a bright room on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> so that I don't get the neat mares. <laughs> I don't play. I start playing games too long or too often, and I start having dreams. And it's fifty-fifty on whether they're good or bad. Even if it's a good game, like I could play Final Fantasy, it could still be a nightmare depending on how, like, what the night brings. Right, right. That's so true, though. But yeah, um, we don't know a lot about it story-wise yet. It looks like a prison planet, maybe, or like he escaped from like a space prison or something. Um, it's got a bunch of yucky mutated monster people it's it just it looks good but scary so we'll see we'll see how brave i feel when it comes to that maybe, one. maybe it'd be a good like october game it comes out in december no. i'd have well. i would have to wait almost a year to play it but you know depending on what comes out when i might still have to wait uh, you know to play it which is fine um, but yeah, that's one I'm I'm interested in, but I'm still trying to decide whether or not I feel like I'm going to be able to play it. Maybe if they put a demo out for it, <laughs> I could like, play that and decide. <laughs> be like, do I feel like I can handle this? But um, Etern Eterna Eternites. There we go, Eternites. That one was the super anime looking one. Um, it's a visual novel slash adventure, like action adventure. Uh, visual novel means dating sim, guys. So if I get that, we're going to be playing it lots of different times to hook all the different people up because that's what we do when we play those. We got to hook all the different people up. But all I know is it looks super anime. It looks pretty fun. I really liked the art style for it. Uh, looks like something that I could probably really get into. But that's supposed to come out early next year, so I don't know. We'll see. My cat's crying to go out into the rest of the house, but it's not his turn. So if you hear a cat crying in the background, that's what it is. I want out. Freedom. Yeah, I don't know a lot about e Eternites other than the, the trailer. Um, I was like, is this like an action RPG? But then you get to the very end of the trailer and it's like dating sim meets action. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's do it. But, so pretty stoked for that one. Well, I wouldn't say stoked. I'm excited. I probably won't get it brand new unless I'm like, I don't know, rolling in some unexpected money. Sure, okay. But if I uh, have funds, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one that I don't necessarily care about because I haven't played Street Fighter in a long time, but I know a lot of people do love is... Street Fighter 6 just got announced. Um, the, the trailer had gameplay and everything, so... The last time I played a Street Fighter was in an arcade. Same. In a Until... Lot okay, <laughs> no, the, the... So, the last time I cared about Street Fighter was in it, it was in an arcade. Um, the last time I played was when I got my SNES Mini. I played a little bit because, like, Street Fighter 2 Turbo is on there. Something like that. But the last one I like actively played and like spent quarters on the arcade was like Street Fighter Alpha 2 or something like that. But I don't hate Street Fighter, but I don't like seek it out either. If someone's like, hey, you want to play some rounds of Street Fighter? I'm like, sure, why not? Yeah, it's like, why not? I'm not going to blow money on it, but sure. <laughs> yeah. So for those of you who care about Street Fighter, there it is. It's supposed to come out sometime next year. Um... They didn't give an exact date, they just said 2023. So, um, a cute indie one uh, that is coming out called, uh, the one called Tunic. That one kind of looked like a, almost like a Legend of Zelda style game to me. Like a, what was that one? That remake they did a few, a couple years back that was on the Switch. Was it the Link's Awakening? I think. I think. Yeah, I think Link's Awakening was the remake. Yeah, it was the remake. It, it kind of reminded me of that as far as like, I don't know. It looked like Legend of Zelda, but with a little fox instead of Link. <laughs> but, it's a fox Zelda. Yeah, so for those now, of you who are really into those, 
If they did a trailer and played the song, what does the fox say? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. But yeah, that looks like a cute little casual game. Um, again, I don't know if I would actively go out and seek it. Maybe if I got it on sale for like five bucks, I'd be like, sure, I'll try it for five bucks. <laughs> but yeah, let's see. Okay, cool. That's everything from the state of play that I really wanted to talk about. Oh, other, other than there's that other indie one called Season Letter to the Future that looks kind of more like an experience rather than a game. Kind of was... like, um, what is it? Uh, Senses Hellblade or something, I think is the name of it. It's it's less of a game. Kind more of, like a... yeah, but like le even less than, like even less game than that one. Kind of yeah. like, uh, what was it? Like Journey or Flower by the same company came out originally on PlayStation 3. Those were more like experiences more than games. They're not super long. But this kind of looked like that to me. But it looks really like it could be really intriguing it's got a really interesting art style um sounds like it probably has a really good um in-depth story as far as you know it's uh like human emotion um but yeah i don't know i don't know if i'll pick that up um that's probably one that i'll wait and like i'll see if other people are playing it and take a look and see if it's something i want to pick up but that's supposed Didn't to come announce... out this autumn hmm. Didn't they announce a Hellblade 2, like, a while back? Yeah, that's one that we're still waiting to get more information on. Mm. I think... Wait. I can't hear you anymore. Did your mic go oh, out? Oh, I accidentally tapped my mic when I fixed my hair. Oh. My, it, <laughs> it, has a mute, it has a mute button right here, and it's super sensitive. It's convenient. I'm sure it's probably super convenient, but <laughs> also is. not convenient. <laughs> um, but no, I think we got a trailer. I know we've gotten a trailer because like when I um, when I saw the trailer for the second one, and I originally I didn't know it was the second one. I just saw a trailer and it was really cool, and it made me want to get the first one, and I got that, and then I was like, wait, I don't remember maybe we, here. Maybe we got the trailer like two years ago because i feel like i saw it at an e3 but i don't think it was last year's e3 yeah it had to have been a while back it must i think it might well, have been two e3s hopefully ago. we hear something soon then maybe that'll be something that we hear about let's see uh trying to look so it looks like hellblade 2 gameplay reveal it was back in 2021, December 2021. Oh, maybe we got it. Maybe it was around the same time as the Game Awards. Maybe that's what I'm thinking, because we've been getting a yeah, lot of Game Awards 2021. Oh, okay, that's that's so. what I'm thinking. Because I was like, I know we've got news of it recently, ish. And I'm see. I'm yeah, I don't remember. It. Game I don't remember seeing the Game Awards stuff. I feel like because that was just. Well, I mean, I guess it was six months ago, but yeah. I played, I played it a long time before that, though. Oh yeah. It was probably you probably played originally. It. You played it a while before my move, so. Yeah. Oh, here's official reveal trailer was December 2019, so that's oh, probably so... around so the time. So that was and... probably Game Awards two years ago. <laughs> yeah, and then there was December 2021. Which is where we got a gameplay demo, it looks like. Gotcha. And then so it's, it's time for more news. <laughs> yeah, so it sounds like 2023 is when they're going to be doing it, because there's a couple things in here that say, like, gameplay reveal 2023 in quotation. Mm -hmm. so gotcha. Maybe gotcha. next year for that one. I remember the, the playing that game was very intense and taxing mentally. It was a very, like, stressful like it was it was good i liked it a lot but it was yeah. just to wrap my mind around the stuff that was going on in that game was 
pretty intense. My mind, that's not something my mind's used to. <laughs> well, I definitely know that was kind of the point of that game is they yeah. it want they wanted it to be thought provoking and it's supposed to give you a vague notion of like, of what it's like to have that mental yeah, disorder. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It really does because especially like when you if you um, that's a game you really want to play with both headphones in because they really there's a lot of audio left and right audio cues. Yeah, it's. It was uh, it was an experience for sure. I enjoyed it a lot, but man, was I tired every night after playing that game. I just wanted to go to sleep. Ooh, you're like, man, this is exhausting. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, really cool. Though. I liked it. Nice. All right, cool. A couple of games I wanted to touch on that were not in the state of play, uh, obviously, because this one's an, a Nintendo title, um, is obviously uh, Fire Emblem Three Hopes, which is coming out at the end of the month. Uh, we just got a new trailer today, and they just dropped the demo, which I'm going to be playing a little bit of after the podcast. So if you're interested in what Three Hopes is going to look like, I will be playing it. I'm excited. Um, I'm excited more than uh, not. Normally, I don't really... <laughs> Ammon comes out of the woodwork for that. <laughs> but... Um... <laughs> I don't, again, I don't love the Dynasty Warrior style uh, games, but I don't, I don't hate them either. Like I grew up playing, well, grew up, I was, I was in high school when the Dynasty Warriors games started coming out. I played the first few, um, and then I got into the Dynasty Warriors Gundam games. Like I really, really, really enjoyed those. Um, but you know, after a while, that style of gameplay gets really repetitive. So I can't say that I've really played any of the recent ones as far as like, you know, I haven't played the original Fire Emblem Heroes. I haven't played like the Hyrule Warriors. Wait, no, not Fire Emblem Heroes. That's the phone game. Fire Emblem Warriors. There we go. Um, But this particular one I'm really excited in because it is a, you know, it's a like a, I don't know if it's going to be like a parallel dimension or, but it's about characters that we already love. Takes place in Fodlin with all of the three houses people. They all have new costumes, which I am stupidly excited about. Like, I don't, I shouldn't be excited about new costumes, but I am. (laughs) Costumes can make, just tie everything in so much better. Yeah, like I know every time I play Fire Emblem, I always look at my teacher's outfits and what I have, and it's like, okay, which one do I want? Which one looks the best, or which one am I just feeling at the moment? (laughs) But yeah, so new trailer dropped today, demo dropped today. I'm going to play a little bit of after the podcast to kind of help me. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. I say it's to help me decide whether or not I'm going to get it, but I'm probably just going to get it because I really, really liked three houses and i want more of that content three houses is really good with new character designs of people that i love (laughs) i'm excited to get new story too yeah yeah i'm really interested to see how that's going yeah you're gonna get a lot of new i mean obviously the first the first half of the game when you play three houses is very similar there's a there's you know subtle differences the big difference is obviously going to be the second half of the game yeah, I'll get to meet all the new characters, or at least like the, my team, because I don't know much about any of them or anything. So I'm learning little Did pieces you, about them. There. Have you picked up the DLC for that? Um, I don't know. Is there a way to tell? <laughs> That's a good question. No. I would have to look. Um, I can check. Basically, a- it's just if you like. Um, cause you would have the fourth house, which is the Ashen Wolves. Ashen Wolves. Uh, is that, does that get included in, like, in the game automatically? Or is it something that I have to, like, activate? If, if you, if you, if you got the DLC, then it would, it would actually show up in your menu. I think it's, like, called, it's, like, called the side story or something. Once you play it, um, then those characters become ac- accessible in your main game so you'd probably you wouldn't be able to get them in the playthrough that you're doing right now but i would recommend after the playthrough you're done with if you don't have the dlc get it yeah it's so so when i go to the menu i can select side story oh okay like the inch like how to how the side story plays and then i can do like normal hard or whatever yeah you should dang 
That means I have it then, right? Yes, that does mean you have it. Okay. But I thought so. I, so I, you... I usually end up always getting like the season pass if there's if there is one with the game, or I will um, grab uh, like the ultimate edition or whatever yeah. if if they have that. I usually just grab that on stuff, especially for like the RPG games and things. I always am really big about grabbing the expansion passes for that kind of stuff because it's like I know if I don't if it doesn't come out right away. Like this one, I haven't. I played it for at first, and I didn't play it for months. Mm -hmm. um, I'll always come back to it. So it's like later down the road, I know I will hit that that side content in a year, maybe two years after it comes out. But I will do it. And it, when I go back and I realize this has side stuff, it's gonna be a whole new game, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be super excited. And it's like this is a brand new game I didn't know about. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. Um, so yeah, it's its own little side thing. It's eight chapters, I think. They play very differently, like the chapters do. Um, and then once you've played it, then those characters will be accessible through the rest of your playthroughs. Um, oh, really? And I really Maybe. like the characters that are available there. So I don't, know, I'll do is... I don't know if they'd be available in your current playthrough. Probably not. But... What I'll probably do is I'll finish my Golden Deer one. I'll do the side story yes. and then I'll do another playthrough right after that because I got to do the other house. I haven't done the the blue, um, the blue lions, so I'll do that one and then I can have them involved in go. that. I'll Perfect. have so that'll be my foreseeable future for streaming. Perfect. <laughs> I really, um, I really, really loved the side story because they you get to play. So you have the four members of the Ashen Wolves house, and then they give you you get to play with the three house leaders. So Edelgard, Claude, and Dimitri, and then you get one side person in each of those houses. Um, That's cool. Yeah, and I was like, oh, this is such a cool blend of characters, and it's so it was so fun to be able to use those three house leaders on the same team with other people. Oh, I was like, this is so great. I love this. <laughs> it just made me sad when I went back to the main game, and you know everyone splits up, and they're like, no, and I'm like, dang it. Like, can't we just be friends? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really excited about Three Hopes. I'm excited to play it after uh, podcast here in a little bit. Uh, I've got just a couple more games I want to touch on really quick. Um, the Quarry, which is the new game by Supermassive, uh, Supermassive Games. The people that did uh, Until Dawn and the um, Dark Picture Anthology. So... Really excited about that. It looks really good. It comes out on Friday. I probably won't get it for a while, but I'm excited. That's really all I'm gonna say about it. <laughs> I remember say I've seen like one trailer for that. Yeah, one. I think there was. Good. I think there was a trailer for it in the last state of play. Fred, hold on. <laughs> Animals are escaping. No, it wasn't animals. I have I have a couple of like self adhesive shelves, and oh. <laughs> one of them just kind of tilted a little bit, and so the thing I had on it fell, and I have to put it back together. So it's fine though. It's not oh. broken. That's all I'm concerned about is that the it's thing that fell broken. is not broken. <laughs> I mean, it's it's broken, but that's because it comes in pieces. All the pieces are intact though, so I just put it back together. Anyway, the good. quarry. Yes, I don't know a lot about it because I don't want to like ruin anything. I, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I want to yeah. go into that. That's the kind of game I want to go in completely blind. I've gotten really like I used to be so hyped up on watching trailers and re-watching them and watching every bit of trailer and then I like if gameplay came out I'd want to watch like a good 10 minutes of it and mm -hmm. like just build up that anticipation and hype. Nowadays I don't know what has happened to me but it's like if I hear the title and I know it's a game I want to play like Final Fantasy 7 or Final Fantasy 16 mm -hmm. like typically I have no interest in watching any trailer anything I don't want to I know the game is coming give me the date it's coming out that's all I want to know I want to go into the game I don't want to even know what characters look like enemies the game environment I just want start to finish a completely blind all I want to know is that it's Final Fantasy 16 right. I don't want to know anything else I just see, want to see the title and it's so <laughs> but, weird because I 
I, I oh, no, go ahead. I, I was going to say, it, it's hard, though, because I really, like, I want to see it. I want, like, I want to watch it. In 16, I couldn't not watch the trailer one. And I think mainly the reason I watched the trailer for that was because I wanted to show my kid. So I was like, right? okay, I'll watch it with you. Because I, I hadn't watched it. The only reason I did watch it was because I showed him. If I hadn't showed him, I, but I wanted him to get excited with me. So it's like, it's coming. We've got a new one. And he's just recently got the Final Fantasy 15 on the PlayStation. So he's got like a renewed hype of Final Fantasy at the moment. So it's like, let's, let's, get, let's get this one going. That's awesome. <laughs> cool. Yeah, see, I, we're, I live in this weird place between like, I sometimes I don't want to know anything like with the quarry that's the kind of game that i'm like i think that'll be more fun if i don't know anything and like even with final fantasy part of me is like yeah i kind of want to be surprised but i also just want to know yeah you're <laughs> like i need to know, i need something to tie me over and then like <laughs> as far as down. like like i wouldn't know game like i wouldn't know game news if i didn't watch trailers or at least like presentations where they where they put trailers out i don't necessarily go seeking out trailers but i do watch a lot of videos where there are like game announcements and trailers involved so i try that to just find happens. The, i try to find the news sources news articles that will just bullet point out the titles <laughs> so right, that way i right. can get the info and they'll give little blurbs it's like cool i get blurbs no video <laughs> I just don't want to go reading. I'd much rather have a presentation put in front of me. So yeah, I that's how I was. I think maybe what's changed for me in that sense is that I work from home now. So when I'm bored and I don't want to work, I can't like I've still got to do work, and it's like so I can take a break and I'll just like scroll read real quick, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's not like it's mind numbing. It bores me enough to go back to work. <laughs> 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 then I actually do my stuff That's that I need to do. Um, no. And then I'll watch animes while I work instead. I've definitely been reading a lot more for leisure lately. Like, you know, between between the Chinese translated novels I've been reading and um, getting back into finally letting myself purchase and read manga again. Um, you know, I've been doing a ton of that lately. Well, you got the... Uh the mdz one coming out here soon don't you uh volume or, two uh volume two? two of the novel just came out three weeks ago so i've been reading that and then the the manhwa or the comic or the manga um the manhwa for that just got licensed like two days after we had a conversation about it i was like oh my gosh <laughs> no, we, were, um, we just talked about it and i saw that and i was like yeah, no way that comes out in december so i'm really excited to get that in english i'm so excited that's not too far away ah. i know and you had watched that a ton too you were like watching it over and over when it came out i i well, still well, it's one of my favorite background things to listen to so it's so good but uh yeah that's oh the last thing the last thing i wanted to touch on because i know i don't know i'm kind of excited um the sonic origins collection that's coming out it comes out uh later this month it's one through four of the sonics um they've been remastered put in a collection together i really liked the first handful of sonic games i thought they were really fun so the only one that i've ever played a lot and actually got hooked on was um the one on the handheld sega system like way back in the day that took like six double a batteries right um, the, the... that that's the sonic that i played and i was obsessed with i have some sonic games on my switch i think it is nice. um i briefly played them but i haven't really played them too much yeah they're a super casual like i'm just gonna play sonic for a few minutes like yeah basically like let me just roll around jump on some enemies and then i'm good <laughs> right. lose all my coins get pissed off yeah i get it <laughs> yeah, like, this. This is, i'm not good at this game anymore yeah, i suck this see, is me I, um, I could only do this when i had hand coordination at five <laughs> so my family when i was growing up instead of moving on to super nintendo we moved on to the sega genesis and so I actually grew up with Sonic 1, Sonic 2, well, Sonic 1, Sonic and Tails, um, you know, Sonic 3, and Sonic and Knuckles. Sonic and Knuckles is actually my favorite, um, which they're combining with 3 in this new collection. So I'm pretty excited. Hey, I didn't, the only, I only knew about Sonic and Tails my entire life. 
I didn't even know there was Shadow or Knuckles or anything until the second Sonic movie came out, and I was like, who the heck is Knuckles? See, and then at the very, and then they introduced Shadow, and I'm like, who the fuck is Shadow? See, I'm like, Shadow Whoa. came out. <laughs> Shadow came out later. He came out on a later game. I only played the first four Sonic games, which was one Sonic and Tails, three, and then Sonic and Knuckles. But Sonic and Knuckles is my favorite. But that's because I like Knuckles, even though he's really dumb he's not he's not a smart character but i love him the, the dumb ones are always really funny but um but yeah so sonic fans sonic origins is coming out at the end of the month if you want to play some some casual nostalgic sonic there you go i'm i'm excited i won't get it right away i'll probably wait and get it like on a sale or something like the one sonic game i have on pc that's how i got it i got it for like five dollars on a sale i was like yeah i'll get sonic 2 for five bucks <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, it's cheap why not but yeah i feel like i feel like we covered a lot today um i yeah. want to remind <laughs> everyone that the Summer Game Fest. I was like, what is it called? The Not E3 <laughs> is tomorrow. I will be streaming the first presentation here on stream and then we'll play some games or do something. I don't know. We'll do something after that first presentation. Um, but if you want to come hang out with me and watch that, that'll be here around noon. I'll probably start a few minutes before, you know, we'll start 10 or 15 minutes before the presentation starts. Um, Dupree and I are talking about doing a contest for naming our podcast, so look out on our socials for that. Um, yeah, because, I think that'll be good. Yeah, I think we'll if we like if we like any of the entries, then the winner will. We're, we're talking about doing like a like a Steam gift card. But yeah, if you guys aren't watching Dupree. You definitely should be. No, the stream's not over, Groot. The podcast part is over, but the stream is not. Yeah. Just podcast. Because I just, gotta go to we're bed. We're just saying goodnight because Dupree has to go be a sleepy boy. And uh, yeah. I'm just going to switch over and we're gonna play some games now. Uh, build my muscles. Yes, build the muscles. Those little, little muscles that I have. <laughs> Make them bigger. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, thank you so much, Dupree, for hanging out with me and chatting more, more fun stuff. <laughs> Fun, thank you. Yeah. I will be lurking away while I go to sleep. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll see you later. Bye. Have a good night.